Okay, this is the part four 2021 Odyssey front ensemble tutorial. I'm mostly going over just keyboard stuff because a lot is similar. It all seems like right hand lead or octaves. And so I know some of you don't need this, but some of you do. So let's go ahead and make sure we just read through this together. It starts with keyboards right away, which I might have a rewrite because it gave a lot of difficult parts to the second synthesizer, which we, wanna, we don't want to do to Aiden, A-D-E-N, Aiden. We want to look into if that's what we really want there. So I'll let you know if there's a change. Now we're at the B section. So second measure of the B section, we have metallics. Now everybody's doing octaves except for xylophone, which is Austin. Austin, you can just go right, left, right, left. Okay. So we're looking at our key signature. We are in the key of E flat. So, so we're in the key of E flat, three flats. But I'm sure they're going to add some flats in to this. So, yep, all, already they're adding G flat. Okay. So make sure you're watching out for that G flat. Uh, we start B flat, A flat, so all these flats and then F. Okay, at this tempo. Pretty simple there, Austin. Now, when we do octaves, rest. Pretty simple. Okay, in the next phrase, this is the fourth measure of B. Same idea. Uh, still right lead, Austin. Okay, and then, of course, octaves. Okay, pretty simple there. All right, when we get to 22, we have uh, G flat, E flat, D flat. Uh. Pretty simple. Rest. Rest. Okay, and when we do octaves here and everybody else, we have this same thing. Rest. And rest. Pretty simple. Now I'm going to jump over to the marimba part because you guys start off with these rolls. Okay. So first of all, let me explain first inversion and second and third inversion. First of all, if you're doing a, let's say we're doing the E flat arpeggio. Okay. If you play those chords at the same time, that's your E flat major chord in root position. Okay. Now, your E flat's on the bottom, then your G, B flat, E flat. Now, when you put the G on the bottom and you play the same notes, that is first position, okay, where the third is in the bottom. That's first position. And then when you put the fifth on the bottom, same notes, E flat, G, B flat, okay, and then you put your B flat on the bottom, that is second position. So if I'm referring to those things, that's what I mean. First position is when the third's on the bottom. Second position is when the fifth's on the bottom. Root position is just normal, okay? Now, marimba one and two, you guys start, uh, now disregard my octaves here, but you guys start, you guys are playing the exact same thing. So you have your G flat to start here, okay? G flat, B flat, D flat, G flat. Okay, and then uh, first of all, marimba three, just know that these chords are going to be the same for you, but in a different position, which I'll go over in a little bit. But go ahead and learn it in root position because that's mostly what they're doing here. So we have root position, G flat. Then we move to, it looks like a seventh chord. Um, so, uh, yeah, a seventh chord. So we're doing the F minor, okay, in the second measure, but we're doing it in second position. So first of all, let's identify this chord. So I see F a flat c e flat okay now f minor would be f a flat c f we're adding instead of a, an octave at the top we're doing e flat so that's a minor seven okay because e flat is usually not in the f scale so, all right so but we have a flat on the bottom okay so so a flat c e flat f okay so we started here Three, four, one, 
two, three, four. Okay? Now, we look at the third measure of C, remember one and two, and you have G flat, B flat. So we're back to our G flat, but instead of a instead of a uh, G flat at the top, we have an F. So again, this is a seven. Okay? So, so far we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, keep the F, one, two, three, four, okay? Now we're back to our A flat C idea like we had in measure two, but instead of E flat F, we have, this is just straight up F minor, so we're getting F and A flat. It's kind of awkward, which I'm sure we'll discuss hit spots with Mr. Figueroa. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, leave the F back to G flat minor, and then we have awkward A, F, uh, F minor, okay? Uh, obviously that last F minor was in first position with the A flat, usually would be here, right? Okay, so. Okay, now let's look at marimba three. You are slightly different. Yes, we start with that G flat, but you are doing this in second position. So you have D flat on the bottom, okay? Now you go into the same F. Uh, you go into the same F minor with. You're doing the F minor now. It looks like you don't have that seventh in measure two, uh, but also in second. So you have F minor is usually F A flat C F, but the C is the fifth. So that's going to be on the bottom. So you have this. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, we go back, we are again D flat on the bottom, but we're adding the seventh, so we're adding an F instead of the G flat, and it looks like it's skipping the tonic G flat and going to B flat, B flat and D flat. So instead, you started here, but now they're doing this, so they sub substituted the F instead of the G flat. So we have this to start, one, two, three, four, minor F in second position, keep the F, back, two, three, four, and then we're exactly back to the same chord we had in measure two, so back to the F. Okay, so the whole thing goes uh, G flat in second position, one, two, three, four, F minor in second position, keep the F, and so it's the same as the beginning, except we're keeping the seventh on the F, and then we're back to their F minor in second position. The next part is D, so the metallics enter the first two measures together, same parts, right hand lead is fine. Uh, you, by the way, you did have a suspended symbol for three beats before this, and then a rest, and then you're here. All right, looks like a G flat. Yeah, looks like G flat, E flat, B flat. All right, so at D, we just do that back and forth. One and two and three and four and then we change. So all that is is E flat minor, E flat, G flat, B flat. But obviously we're starting, and this is, if you put these together, we're in the uh, second position where B flat's in the bottom. Crossover shouldn't be a problem. Then we have F. E flat. If we put all those notes together, that's F, A flat, C, E flat. So that's your F minor with the flat seven. Okay. So similar to earlier when we had those chords for marimba. Okay. So we have F, E flat, F, E flat, C, A flat, C. All right. Not too bad. Okay. So all together at D we have ready, uh, let's see, one, two, ready, go. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, mostly my left hand stays on the bottom for C and F, mostly C. Okay, so let's check it out. C, F, C, C, so that's good, some, that, that is something to uh, 
think about with that left hand on that C. Okay, from here, we have xylophone, Glock, which is bells, um, vibes and marimba all have the same 16th note run for about two measures. Uh, let's check it out. So we have... Okay. So basically what's happening is uh, we have a hemiola here. We have uh, four notes and we're going back and forth. Down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so we go one and two and three and four and one and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. That's a pretty easy little thing there. So one, two, ready, go. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Pretty easy. Okay, let's keep going. 32. Okay, so at 32, what I'd be thinking is D flat up the scale to G flat, and then down all the way to C. So up the scale, down the scale, down the C. Ready? Go. One, two, ready, go. Okay. So after that, we kind of jump from D flat. We go back to D flat and then jump down to B flat. Then that's a leap there. So that's not stepwise motion. But after that, I will do stepwise motion. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm going to stop on B flat, skip a third to B flat. So noticing that we're always skipping a third to B flat, either low or high there. So we have up the scale down the scale down c jump to b flat go up here go up here skip to b flat okay so that last part again i'm going to go from d flat b flat so this is beat three of 32. so i have one e then i'm going to go up three notes and then back down in the sequence one two three one two three skip to b flat one e uh, sorry 3E e and a 4E e and a stop. So from the beginning we have up the scale, down the scale, scale and drop and up and down and up and. One, two, ready, go. Kind of has a flow to it. Ready, two, ready, go. Ready, two, ready, go. Okay, now from the beginning of the hemiola, let's go slowly. So this is 31. So we have, so we have, one, two, ready, go. One, and, four, and a go to the D flat. Go. And then we do our roll, uh, and then we do our thing here. We have one, two, ready, go. Pretty simple. Okay, now I'm going to keep going on for the marimbas. The cratales and the glock are about to play something simple, but I'll get to that in a second. Vise and marimba keep going. You have the six tuplet. You have the six tuplet. So it's pretty easy to start. B flat, D flat, E flat. Now we have a little bit of run at the end here, so let's learn it. We have E flat to B flat to D flat. Yeah, the D flat, it's still a D flat because we had a D flat in beat two. So pretty easy, just throw your left hand down to B flat and then move over and then up the scale. Yeah, that's it. Triple the triple. The. So after your B flat, you're just going D flat up the scale. Time. Triple the triple the top. Two. Ready. Go. Ready. Go. Ready. Go. All right, so the whole thing from 31 is two, ready, go.
Now, real quick, I'm going to go back to xylophone and bells. So after you're done with your, you do go to B flat, but uh, Crotalis, you just go one, two, three, one, super easy. B flat, D flat, E flat, A flat. I think bells, you do octaves after the B flat. Pretty simple. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're at E, and we have bells and vibes all playing the same thing, except uh, bells have some octaves and then some singles. Uh, vibes are octaves the whole time. So let's go ahead and learn the metallic part real quick. Just learning it with octaves here to start. I got F, A flat, F, E flat. Okay, little simple pattern. Okay, but those are quarter notes. And then C, E flat, C, A flat. Okay, so pretty simple pattern there. Let's put it together. Ready? Got this tempo. Let's go and put it in tempo. One, two, ready, go. F, A flat, F, E flat, C, E flat, C, A flat. Two, ready, go. So this is just your F minor seven with a little pattern, okay? After we're done with that pattern, let's do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Up to D flat. Now from D flat, we go D flat, B flat. Again, you can learn this one hand at a, one hand at a time if you need to. Okay, but then do octaves. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it together. D flat, B flat to G flat. Let's get that. D flat, B flat, G flat. D flat, B flat, G flat. Okay, now G flat we have up the scale and then up a third. Ready, go. Okay, so again, there's like a little jump on, of a third from G flat to B flat. Okay, a little pattern there we're seeing throughout the piece. Then we have C, A flat. I'm sure you can't see my F octave up there, but yeah. Um, let's see. So that's C, A flat, C. So again, this is all that F minor with a minor, uh, F, F minor, F, A flat, C, E flat, but in different orders. Okay, C, A flat, C, E flat, F. Okay, um, so we had it from D flat, so this is measure, this is the third measure of E. Ready, go. Okay, pretty simple, and then a roll, and then we have a bunch of rolls and crashes to the end. So Glock, yes, you have this full pattern. But now instead of going to G flat octaves, you're just going. You just do it right, left, right, left. G flat F, G flat B flat C, A flat C, E flat F. Okay, obviously vibes you did octaves. Okay, so let's look on to the marimba part because we're almost done. So I see, yeah, y'all are doing the same thing, but with four mallets and different octaves. So I can look at one part here. So it looks like, let's just put these, I know that we have this one and two and going on here, but let's just put these chords together. So we have, okay, so you have C, F, F, A flat. Okay, now if we put those together, what is that? That's just your F minor. Okay, but all split apart. So what I would do, I'm looking, I'm feeling this. Uh, I'm going top of the resonator on the secondary. So I'm gonna put, that puts my left shoulder back uh, and my feet are a little bit slanted so my hands can be relaxed. I'm gonna go F on the top of the resonator, C on the bottom resonator. All right, so it looks like I changed my right hand to C. So obviously I'm kind of rotating my shoulders, pulling my right shoulder back. Oh, sorry. Pretty easy. Okay. So I was just here. Now we go back to F and A flat. So, okay, left hand's just staying still. And now I've got my octave C's and F's. So pretty simple there. So you might want to learn just your right hand. Okay, a lot of motion there in the arms. Okay, guys. And 
your elbow, getting you into a good position as you leave your left here. So I'm favoring my, my body over here to the right side and then making my left hand reach out for this C and F. Okay, what else do we have after that? Um, now, let's see where we were. We were here, and now we're going to G flat and D flat. So we just kind of go up chromatically. Okay, I bet you our left hand stays still. Yeah, it just stays on here. So let's focus on our right hand. We have D flat, G flat, and then G flat, B flat. Sorry. And then we go back to G, D flat and G flat. Uh, so again, same kind of uh, sequence. This one's even easier because we're all on the top. So. So. Pretty simple. Let's try that again a little bit better. One. Very easy sequence there. Now we were here and now we're about to do a run probably with the inner mallets. So we have E flat to A flat. Looks like we're just going up the scale. Okay, so we have one, two, ready, go. Super easy, and then we have a roll right on beat four after that. And then it's all simple stuff from there to the end. Pretty simple movement, guys. Hopefully that helps you get through it. I've never done a pit tutorial before, so make sure you use this. No excuses. Peace.